Good morning, Northwest. Please start Titan Reconnect. Good morning, Northwest, and welcome to Titan Reconnect. Everybody, please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand down by your side and say with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd stand, but you know, my head get, get caught. And now, for the joke of the day. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop! <laughs> I know that's corny. Okay, anyway, let's start with my form submissions. I have two. The first one says, my teacher assigns work from Google Forms, and when I go back in after I complete it, it has no answers, and I cannot see her comments about my work. You need to let your teacher know so that she can let me know so that I can let Microsoft know if there's an issue. Classroom, so many people are using it that there have been little bugs here and there. So make sure to tell your teacher. And you don't like my beer. Next one. Hi, Mr. Trump. Open this link file. There's a problem. You gave me the path to a file that's on your computer. It's not in OneDrive or Google Drive, so I wasn't able to see it. I don't know if you were trying to submit a project. I know it's about removal of a birthmark, so it must be a project because I don't have a birthmark. I don't, I don't no. Oh. Next time, put it in your OneDrive, G Drive, Google Drive, and email it to me. Okay. I love seeing what you all are doing. And you like my beard. Thank you. Speaking about projects, I have a lot of projects to share with you that I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and we'll start the show. Let's look at some of the student projects that you all have done over the past week. We'll start with Meyer's eighth grade ELA. They're reading Lord of the Flies and they had to make a blog where they pretended like they were one of the characters from the book. Uh, this character is Ralph. I don't know who Ralph is. I haven't read the book. It's on my bookshelf, and after reading this blog, I definitely have to read the book. This is a really good job. It's done by um, Julia R. Julia R. And you can see a lot of work has gone into this, and even Drawings, artistic drawings, original drawings. That, there and I can do that. That's really cool. And the pig. See, you thought I was just telling that joke just to tell it. Ah, I had a reason. Okay. This pig um, is a little freaky and will probably give me nightmares. I'm gonna, I can't look at it. This is another blog. This one was done by M. Damon, and he actually has written from the perspective of a couple characters, but it's done really well as well, so I wanted to show it to everybody. Moving on, Mrs. Moore's ELA class. They had to create comic strips that talked about themes. It had to explain a theme, it had to have a theme in it. This one here, I know it's really hard to read, but one guy loses his job, one girl, you know, she fails a test, everything ends up okay in the end, happily ever after. My favorite frame though, is the guy comes in, I got a new job, and his daughter, what does she say? Now I can get this dye out of my hair. I, I just thought it was funny. And same thing here. This is by Mikey M. Uh, this is quite a story that was put together, but it's about the mouse, can't get by the cat, 
tried laser pointers, so went to her cousin, and they had a rat attack. They attacked the cat. Attacked the cat. Got the cheese. Susie, you wouldn't block a mouse from the cheese, would you? No. Now to Mrs. Griffith's science class. This is by KCN. They talked about lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. Uh, this is really well done. It shows you solar eclipses happen when the sun, the moon, and the earth align. But what happens is the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So during the day, it'll get dark. In fact, it happened, you may have remembered, it happened about two years ago. You cannot look at it because it'll fry your eyeballs. No, it won't fry your eyeballs, but it could very, very badly hurt your uh, your eyes. So solar eclipses and then lunar eclipses, those you can look at. You can see them at night. It's the same thing. Sun, Earth, and Moon are lined up. And what happens, since the Earth is in the way, the light bends around the Earth and shines onto the moon, but it goes through our atmosphere. So have you ever seen a big red moon? That's what's going on. It's a lunar eclipse. See, you learned something. Here is Sherman S. Put this one together. Caitlin H. I like that she drew. It's hard to draw on a computer with a mouse. So she actually drew on here and that's impressive. And speaking of drawing, what's wrong with crayons and paper? I love to color paper. Not a thing wrong with that. That's another great job. The explanations underneath, very thorough. Travis G. <laughs> I put this on here because I really like the sun. Then he, yeah, that, that, that's a pretty mean looking sun. Moon doesn't seem to care too much. Yeah, whatever, I'm in your way. And then the earth, help me! Now that, that was uh, the most animated project. So, <laughs> that was funny jobs. Now we're moving on to Mrs. Gurley's Rube Goldberg Machines. A Rube Goldberg machine. Basically, you make it for no reason. It's something you make really complicated to do something that's really easy to do. Um, does have a lot of science in it when you think about it. I mean, you have to know gravity and you have to know angles. You have to know speed. There's a lot of different components that make up a Rube Goldberg machine. This one here was sent in by Jacob D. I'm guessing like a ball will go down here into the tube, into the tube, into this tube. It's hard to tell these by pictures. So I actually have some video submissions. So this is Eleanor E. And it's actually made with wood. That's a lot of work. Uh, there you go. Up oh, next. This is Caleb F. Hey, Miss Gurley. This is my Rupert Go machine. Has inclined flame, coolie, whatever. I love Reese Puffs. Reese. We have another inclined flame here. Why you made it? Why I made it is to to um make my dogs eat the treats. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> I want a treat. <laughs> Great job, Kaylin. That isn't. And we have more. Let's see. Check this one out. Okay. Bingo. I could watch these things like all day long. They're too cool. And I think this is the last one. <laughs> it 
Isabella R. Some Isabella R. Great job. Like I said, I could watch these things all day long. They are just too fun. And if you watch the movie The Goonies, uh, Goldberg Machine's in The Goonies. It's in Back to the Future. Doc Watson. He has a machine that makes him breakfast. Does all these different things. Next time you see the movies, now you know what they're called. They're called Rube Gold Machines. And that's it for our project session. So, uh, I'll continue on the show in my big window. That was great. Please continue sending your projects in to your teachers, or you can send them straight to me with my school email address so I can see what you're up to and show you off. You get to show off your work to everybody. It's amazing jobs, everyone. Amazing jobs. I want to end the show today with a special treat. Um, I got kind of jealous. All these teachers are doing these karaoke videos. And I figured, hey, why don't I try it? So I, I gave it a shot. And I made something. And I'm hoping that it will make you happy. So here we go.